Oh, welcome back to Rome 2 Total War and um, I'm going to begin this video by getting rid of this Macedonian fleet. I don't think it needs to be there. <laughs> um, no, it's not going to do me any good is it being there. I think, yeah, that's it. I'd already chased it away last time. I can't remember now, but um, anyway, he couldn't escape, could he? Aggressive stance, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, everything is 100% whatever I do, I think. So I'm going to go for aggressive, of course, and hopefully that's going to completely wipe him out. OK, yes, please. Um, the next thing I want to do is uh, kill the captives, yeah. Um, after ki oh, right, increasing rank. OK, let's increase in rank then. What are we going to do this time? Something to do with ships. Uh, nothing in there. It's going to be this one, which is the... I always get these with general, isn't it? I was going to say I always get them mixed up. I don't get them mixed up. I just forget which one is which. Is that the right way of describing it? I'm not sure now. Anyway, recruitment costs fleet only. Oh, that's just for this admiral, though, isn't it? Surely you could army only. That's no use to me. Cunning. Zeal. It's going to have to be the navy one, I'm afraid. Um, authority. Yeah, because it gives me um, an increased authority when being an admiral as well, doesn't it? So uh, Now, the other thing I wanted to do was get rid of this guy here. I'm hoping that instead of attacking him, I might be able to utilise my armies better. So I'm thinking with a bit of luck, I might. I can always bring him over if it doesn't work, but I'm thinking I'd like to assassinate this guy. Uh, concealed blade. So I think this, these are all the troops I've got left. And if I assassinate him... Ah. Spy did not kill the target, only inflict wounds. What does that do then? Aha! It does it. Okay, that's good. Um, it's basically because he's, he hasn't got any more generals. If he hasn't got any more generals and he hasn't got any provinces, then he's had it, hasn't he? That's the end of him. Okay, good. Um, other thing that I wanted to do... I don't think that Spy can move any further, can he? Once he's done... Or once he's carried out an action, he can't then move. That's right. Um, right, now... Uh, I've got a... Oh, that's strange. Ah, oh, I know. I know what I was thinking of. Uh, I've obviously had a check out of this between videos. And... Oh, something is wrong here. Something is wrong. Come on. I don't know where it is. Um, I thought I needed to... Oh, is it any of these? No, it isn't. I don't know. I don't know what's going on there, but I had the idea that I needed to do something in Pella. I needed to upgrade something or do something. I'm really not sure, but um, actually, come to think of it, what's that? that one is palaces, and that's tents. Oh, so that's right, then, isn't it? I don't know what I'm thinking of. Um, I've got the idea that um, that I need to improve this somehow um, to upgrade something that's in here, but I think I've got something wrong because. Oh, hang on. I know what it is. It's him that needs to be upgraded. Here, yeah. I'd, I'd just written Impeller. Upgrade Impeller. And of course it's the general that needs to be upgraded, isn't it? So, uh, what about this one? Uh, experience uh, for infantry... Rec experience ranks for infantry recruits. I don't know. Yeah, I, think, I think so. I'm going to go for that one. Okay, um... Now, this is my um, main purpose of this video, to get these guys here. Uh, now I don't have to attack up here, that is. Otherwise he was going to do it on his own. I, I was never really quite happy with that. So if I get these guys to come over here and attack here... Um, uh, yeah, I think so. He's got these two small armies here, hasn't he? So. I don't think they should be too much of a risk to me. These can't reach. They really can't. It's, it's, I just know it's too far. Blimey, that's terrible. Um, 
hang on, where did are they a garrison army? Where did that big army come from? Not that it's big, but there were two armies in support, weren't they? And they were they were both pretty well, very small. That's a garrison army. So there's another army appeared from somewhere I don't know about. Or didn't know about. I know about them now. Okay, let's encircle there. I might have to retreat from that, you know. Where's he coming from? Is it this one? Two four there's five in there. There are four in there. So where's the other one coming from? Can't be these all the way from here, surely, so well there should be another army somewhere around here that's becoming involved in this battle and I have no idea who they are. Um hmm. Okay, well unfortunately then I am gonna have to take out these troops from here to give some support, aren't I? So okay, I don't want to take them too far because I want to put them back in Pella afterwards. So how Oh dear, don't tell me you can't. Yeah, you can move. Okay. Uh, I think there should be enough. We're not going too far to get to there, are we? Okay. I should perhaps come round here and attack these, but I'm not going to. Um, right, okay, well, okay, what I'm going to do is... I'm gonna, well, let's see what, what my chances are in here to start with. So my chances now... Oh, blimey, I thought I'd... What's the auto-resolve? Oh, I get a victory anyway. Pyrrhic victory with 40... What? Come on. 46% of my forces left. Less than half of my army. Now, I've got about 3,000 in each of these places, I think. Three, what, what have I got? 2,500, 3, 4,500... Four and a half thousand men I've got in there. I would lose 50% of them. I'm going to lose 2,000... In fact, more than that, because 46% is what I've got left. So, I, basically, I'm going to lose... Well, what did I say? 4,500? I'm going to lose 2,300, 2,500 maybe. Maybe 2,500 out of that force. That is one heck of a lot to lose, isn't it? Valiant defeat, and he's going to get away with all sorts, isn't he, out of that? So, Pyrrhic victory, and then two Valiant defeats. Hmm. Okay. So, it's going to be an attack. I'll bring you back in when I get in there. If I... Um, anyway, you know what happens. If, if I wait for the bar to come up while the battle is starting, then I get problems, don't I? So, okay, I'll bring you back in a second, folks. And um, we're going to have a pretty big battle. I don't normally like doing battles this size, to be honest, but... How many has he got? 2, 4, 6, 7, plus 6 is, what, 13, plus another 7, 20, 21, um, plus 5, 26, plus 4, 30. So he's got 30, and I've got 40. So it's looking good. Some of my forces are a little depleted. I could, maybe... No, I was going to say, maybe it would be worth that spy coming in here and, and uh, disrupting these guys rather than killing that Macedonian general, but it's too late now, of course, and no, I think it's best to wipe out the Macedonians, get them out of the game, isn't it? Okay, back in a second, folks. Okay, here we have two vertical lines on the bottom right. They're parallel to one another, almost. Slightly um, edged forward at this side here. You can see how they're closer at the top here on the bottom right there than they are on the um, uh, than they are on the bottom here. Um, there's a good reason for that. I'll show you that now. In fact, I'll just pause it while I show you. I don't think anything's going to happen, but it's just so that I don't lose battle time. That's the thing. Looking down here, you've got <coughs> excuse me, skirmisher cavalry, which sort of matches my skirmisher cavalry. I've got skirmisher cavalry over here, um, camel archers. Um, I've got camel spearmen and I've got noble blood cavalry as well over here in the hope that we can turn a flank. The only thing is he's got lots and lots of hoplites over this side here so I'm rather hoping that, that we can uh, engage those last but it does look like my um, infantry are going to have to attack perhaps at some kind of an angle there in order to contact those. These will be peltasts, yes they are, and slingers, so okay, might be a bit of a fight there in the middle. Over on this side here we're almost there, now like I said I am kind of hoping that my guys will get into contact with him um, from, in fact they're very close to it now. I don't, he's got slingers there hasn't he, he's got slingers there, peltasts, right good. So I'm hoping to 
outgun his slingers. Once his slingers are out of the way, maybe his peltas will go for me. Now these up here, um, they're skirmisher horse, and then he's got some melee horse. I don't quite know what this melee horse are. It's just one unit. It's um, Tarantine cavalry. Okay, so I, I, I think they're melee cavalry. I have no idea. But anyway, I'm hoping to sort of sweep round the back of this place here that's hard to um, uh, for him to manoeuvre around. Mind you, he is anchoring on it, but he's got his cavalry stuck behind it, really. Then he's got hoplites, which are not good, but then he's got mob. So he has defended his flank pretty well there with those hoplite spearmen, um, and I don't want my horse to run into those. Very tricky to do, though, I'm afraid. So, okay, or oh, not to run into them will be a tricky thing. Camel archers, cavalry, got missile cavalry, got royal cataphracts there and royal cataphracts there. The idea is that he's got more mob over this side than anywhere else. It's taken me a long time to manoeuvre into this position, by the way. So I am kind of hoping that um, that my um, horse, my, my royal horse, will be running down all these peltasts and mob before they start to hit anything else. But as you can see on here, his most dangerous part of his army is in this part here, this bottom part here and this sort of glut of troops that are down here as well so round about centre and beyond are all hoplite type troops that we do need to take care of but um, anyway okay that's the pause off and we're still moving closer and closer I'm now moving much slower much more slowly close much more slowly close does that make sense I'm not too sure I'm going to go on slow motion here um, and the main reason for the slow motion is, in fact, we'll go from normal speed for now um, until something happens. But in order for me to cover a battlefield of this size, I mean, not, there you go. We kind of knew that was going to happen, didn't we, I suppose? Right, OK. Maybe we run into position now. Perhaps we don't need to. OK, Control m They're my missile troops. If I put all of those now on decent firing mode, and these as well, these are the horse, um, you have to do those separately for some crazy reason. I just don't know why. Oh, what's happening here? Right, OK, so we'll attack into the side of there with our skirmisher. Uh, against his um, skirmisher horse, I ought to say. These are my um, camel spearmen that should be able to take them away. Uh, it looks like he's drawing them into his um, hoplites, doesn't it? But I'm really not too, so sure about that yet at this stage. So just bring those round because they might come in handy in a bit. Now what's going to happen is soon his hoplites are going to hit us. But I need to find out, first of all, what's happening with the horse that could sweep round us up here. They don't appear to be moving at all, do they? OK, so they're static. Well, let's go back up here then and find out what we can do, because really, whoops, sorry about that, folks, but really what I need to do now is start engaging with the uh, missile troops. They're only spearmen, these guys, but they will need to do something useful. What are those now? Ah, they're hoplites that are chasing me back. Ah, that's good news. Very, very good news. Now, the other thing I need to watch out for is that we do indeed charge. Because often, as you know, we end up not charging in situations like this. We make ourselves think that we're charging and then we're not. So, OK, you through to there. Um, and you guys are going to have to kind of go through to these peltasts, I think. Because otherwise you're just wasting your time. And you guys there, oh, against mob. That's rather nice, isn't it? And you guys over there against those peltasts there. Now, my cavalry should be able to clear away some... Um, skirmishers over here. In fact, I might just charge them into the side of those hoplites there, just to give my guys there a little bit of a chance. I don't really want them in there. I want them in against these. In fact, I'm going to do that now. We'll get them in against there, and we'll turn these spearmen in against these guys here, because they're obviously struggling a bit, aren't they, there? So we should have missile superiority over these troops, and they don't seem to shoot at my own troops, so we should be all right there. They're still going in against those, aren't they? So I'm not sure if that's going to be wise, but we did hit the flank, so we might just get away with it. 153, what is that? 153, I really don't know. And while I'm doing this, I'm really not watching what's happening with my other troops, which is really not wise. What's going on there? Yeah, now I think I want my camel, what do you call it? to go and attack these, really, don't I? Now I have to watch out, of course, 
um, for these uh, these hoplites uh, intercepting that. Now let's see what's going on now with this horse. Noble Blood, 77. And what's he got in there? Hoplites, and they're steady. That's not a good idea for me to be going in against hoplites that are steady in my Noble Bloods. So I'm not going to. We're going to go in against those instead. And I think we're still... For, well, 65 is not too bad at all. What's he got in there? Still got 113, so it's not looking good. Let's get my camel archers against those and see what we can achieve. I really need to build up a few more of my um, better quality troops against those guys. Let's get those in against there. Um, somebody's struggling. War elephants. Let's get... Let's just pile those in against those hoplites, shall we? Okay, slingers. I hope they're going to be fighting at firing... Fighting with people. Firing at people, let me say. I still haven't looked at those um, horse that are way over there on that flank. And I do need to pay some attention to those, of course. I've no idea at the moment what his horse are going to be doing. They were Tarantine cavalry there. So I'm just hoping... Um, that they were spearmen I sent in there, and not axemen. Are these war elephants as well? Yes, they are. Well, let's get those guys in then against um, the... No, against the hoplites, because I don't think the hoplites like it um, like that. Oh, blimey, look at that. We really are taking some hits in here, aren't we? So, right, OK, well, let's have a look at my horse over here. I don't seem to be able to have done anything with these guys yet. Um, and... These here have just been allowed free reign of shooting at my horse as much as they like, haven't they? Which is really, really stupid of me. So, okay, Noble Blood Cavalry. They're the Camel Spearmen. I think the Camel Spearmen are going to take those out. So I'm just going to go um, charging way into the side of everything I can see along here. In fact, I think we need really to get all our uh, melee troops now involved um, against these guys here. Uh, right, okay. Um, these as well. Yeah, he really has picked out a good part of my line to attack there, hasn't he? I knew that would be a weaker point. But I didn't realise exactly how weak that was going to be. What are these? These are my... Ah, right, okay. They're my royal horse, aren't they? So, okay, we sorted that skirmisher horse out. That's good. Let's chase off any skirmishes we can get hold of along here as well. Uh, perhaps those slingers there, hey? I've got some other Royal Cavalry somewhere. Oh, I've lost a unit as well. Goodness me. Doesn't sound good at all, does it? What about these here? Peltasts. Let's get rid of those as well then, shall we? Okay, and then my Noble Blood horse and my camels. Well, certainly my camels. Let's get those doing something useful over here. No idea what's happening at all over here. What are they? They're probably those hoplites. They are those hoplites. And what have we got here? My noble bloods have gone in against the hoplites, which is exactly what I did not want to happen. That is very, very bad news that that's happened. Okay, what have we got here? Eastern spearmen. They need to be the ones going against the hoplites, really. But it's good if I... Okay, the swordsmen, even better. These guys, really good, though. They're the ones who are going to do the most damage because they can hit without themselves being hit. So that's got to be the way to do it, hasn't it? OK, it's not been a success, that one, I don't think. But I think we've done better than 40-odd percent remaining on the battlefield. I would hope so, anyway. Let's see what it says. Um, I, I think I had about 4,500 men. I did, so that's 2,200 men. Um... It said less than 50% left. So, so long as I haven't lost, say, 2,500 men, maybe 2,400. Uh, as long as I've done better... Oh, hang on. Now, let's see. 1,338. So it's not brilliant, is it? Um, he's lost 3,100. He's got about... S ooh, he's done quite well. He's got about 700 away. Um, which is... Anyway, it didn't work out as well as I wanted to. And I've lost a unit as well, so that's not very good at all. It's very difficult when you're managing a battlefield of that length and the troops don't do what you want them to do because I mean, what will happen is you'll ask them to attack a unit. That unit will know that it's been attacked. Remember, I'm doing this on hard. So it will then move away from the units attacking it in order for another unit to come and attack in the side of that unit that you've sent forward. So, um, And then, of course, you've taken your eye on it, off it. You've no idea what's happened. And suddenly you find you've lost a load of men. And in fact, 
that one there, that swordsman on the top line there, um, you'll see I've got 90. They, they killed 95, and they've got no men left at all in that unit. Um, some spearmen have done rather badly as well. That's gone very low, and it's only killed 10 men. So a very, very bad result for us. But, I mean, some of the, I mean that that noble um, horse did really, really well, didn't they? With 202, even the general did quite well there with 40. Um, so I, overall, I would say a pretty poor result. Um, with okay, him losing three times, not quite three times, but certainly more than twice what we lost. So, uh, but I would have expected better. You know, I really would. I'm a bit scared about these hoplites, really. I've no idea how effective they are um, and what they're achieving on the battlefield. I really don't know. But, I mean, they just look like spearmen, don't they? But I'm pretty darn sure they're performing better than spearmen. But it could well be that they've had upgrades. You know, the armour upgrades, but um, not just armour. It could be fighting ability. Any kind of um, uh, technical upgrade, research upgrade, that they might have had will make all the difference. So, right, OK. Come on, we're nearly there. Are we nearly there? Uh, I was a bit disappointed to lose a unit, actually, to be honest with you. I'm looking up, and it, it's that one, isn't it? Actually, it's a swordsman's unit as well. Yeah, and they've got extra armour, all sorts of things. If I've lost 160 men on there for having killed 95, that would be very poor. His slingers have killed 74. I know what will have happened. Um, they will have routed their their targets, the um, the swordsmen, whatever they were. Well, I don't know what they were fighting. Uh, and then they'll have stood there. And those slingers will have just shot at them um, without me even realising it's happening. So those slingers will have just simply murdered that swordsman unit without me even knowing that it's happening, like I say. So uh, it's all a bit cruel, a bit unfair, really. You, you'd expect um, forces to be a little bit more autonomous than that, you really would, I if indeed that's what's happened, but I've seen it happen myself, so I know it can happen. Right, okay, so we've got rid of the units in there, and the garrison. Did we destroy those units on the outside? Uh, it looks like they might have escaped. Well, they're all dead, of course. These, no, they're not, and I don't know what they were. Was that a relieving force? Very, very few men in there, of course. This one, again, Lost a general though, haven't they? They lost all their generals, I think. I wonder if that means that just one of them will survive. Really don't know. Anyway, let's go and have a look. Okay. Uh, province. De Dumpf. How are we doing? I don't know, I don't know if they've gone away or not. Uh, right, let's see what we can do with this Awaiting guy. Because fitting, look at that, he really did get some hits. Maybe I need to get rid of these swordsmen, any, not, not swordsmen, spearmen. I don't need all of these, do I really? Um, I want to get the new ones in anyway, um, the more experienced ones, or or rather the more able ones anyway. So what can I do with this guy? Oh, blimey. Loads of choice, loads of things to look at to decide if I need them or not. What's this one? Chance of successfully launching an ambush. Plus 20. Right, I'm going to go for that one. Um, basically, it's an increased chance of wounding an enemy agent that comes my way. That's good, because it'll stop him... Um, perhaps, hopefully, anyway, it'll stop him from um, killing my general who's just taken this place. OK, well, let's um, straighten this place out. Um, it's this one, isn't it, I think? Yeah. So I want to give it this, whatever it is. <laughs> uh, this, that's always good. And then this, which is, I don't know, food. Wealth. You have a bit of wealth. We are struggling from wealth at the moment, aren't we? So, yeah, maybe it's because I've been going for happiness nearly everywhere. OK, let's get these guys back into Pella. These are what I'm worried about. You see these here? Agents that can cause me problems. Right, well, they're on a full 20, but that's a very small unit now, isn't it? So maybe I'll do something about upgrading that one. I'm not too sure yet, but oh, look at this lot. Goodness me, they've lost a unit. I wonder if I can get Noble Bloods in here, actually, because they've only got one. And they were very successful, weren't they, in that open attack. And it looks like there are going to be other open attacks in here. Now, these should you know, these should improve a lot quicker now. But still, 77, they're going to be 112, aren't they, um, after the first turn of replenishment. 112 is not too bad for a unit. Um, and after one turn, that's not too bad at all. And I can't get any swordsmen in here. That was a loss. It really was an important loss for me. Over here, 
Um, what shall I do? Shall I get rid of the slingers and recruit more? I don't know, but I haven't got a lot of men. I mean, I, sorry, a lot of money left. 2,582 is not a lot to be throwing around, so can I afford to get rid of him and replace him with something else? That's two turns. We've got a full 20 in that. I've got to get rid of something in here in order to speed up the recruitment of other troops. So maybe I should... They're so handy though, aren't they, slingers? I'd rather really get rid of the, one of these guys. Uh, I don't even know what I can recruit in here. Let's have a look. What can I... Why aren't you giving me the option? Right. Why aren't you giving me the option to recruit? Army view. I'm on army view. Details. Stance none. I don't know why, but it, it's not giving me the option to recruit in there. Ready for orders. Right. Heading for port. Ah, he was in the port for some stranger. I put him in the port by mistake. Okay, well, let's look in here then and see what we can recruit. Yeah, we can get noble bloods, which are really good. Do I want to swap it for those though, really? I don't think I do. I'd like to swap it for the camel men. But the camel men did well, they've got extra armaments as well and stuff, so I'm not sure it's good. The elephants are good. Um and how they, how well they did in the battle, mind you, but I think I'm just gonna cope with that, you know, and hold on to those because it would be nice to have noble bloods, but I just don't know what I'm gonna swap them for. And I quite like the camel spearmen. I'm going to hang on to that army, you know, and not make any changes to it. Okay, good. Might, might give me a chance to do something elsewhere anyway, so... Okay, my ship's in here. Um, I think one of them... Well, obviously this one can't get as far as the other one, so... We'll move like any walker. Move at the speed of the slowest, so we know how far we're going to get. Okay, what I'm thinking of doing is blockading this port, maybe even attacking it later on. But for now blockade, well not now blockading it, but soon blockading it, preparing for the blockade next turn. I could probably blockade on a run, I'm not too sure actually, but I don't want to risk it. So it doesn't make sense that I can do it, does it really? So, Okay, over to there. Right, um, in Odessus, um, I want to kind of move these guys out. Ah, we're flashing red in here. Oh dear, this is not good. Um, oh, I'd forgotten about it. Next turn. At this rate, there will be a rebellion next turn. Uh, I can't know anything about that. I can't improve anything in there. I could probably swap we fight for you, the armies around. But I think really they're best in there, aren't they? Uh, are they part of the same thing? I think they are, actually. Quick look. Yeah, they're all part of the same thing. Depends, really, on where the rebellion's going to come, doesn't it? So, I think what I'll do is I'll just get a, a couple of units in here. Maybe uh, recruit units. I'll get one of each. In the hope that's going to be enough. I could probably do with disbanding nearly all of those afterwards. It's just crazy producing troops like those, isn't it? Okay, then over here if I can afford it. I could really do with bringing these out of here, because I think they're in the wrong place, really. Um, I brought them too far over, didn't I? Um, I say rebellion in 16 turns. Oh, maybe I'll keep them in there just a little bit longer then. Raise forces. Uh, hey? No, that was wrong. I'd like... I can afford it. I can. 476. I lost more troops than I expected to lose in that, you know, because it means that I can now not recruit in here at all, I don't think. Can I get perhaps one? No, just one. Just one slinger unit is all I can afford in there now, so we really are beginning to struggle. Anyway, there are loads of other things to think about. I've got to get my agents doing things. Um, they're attacking people, doing whatever they do, and I've also got to get, um, you know, do something about these guys over here as well. You know, maybe move forward. I know I said I wouldn't do, but I'm going to have to have a look at it anyway and see what I need to be achieving down there. So, okay, well, I think that's about it for now, folks. Um, thanks for watching, and we've had a pretty epic scale size battle there. It's a shame I can't do close-ups of them, but there's no way I can do that and manage a battle like that when the troops just stand around doing nothing when their target disappears. So, Okay, see you again soon.